So who really knows what eternity is, what the expanse of eternal things is like once we leave this earthly sphere? Well, I don't, okay? And neither do I have a monopoly on the accurate telling of history. I think that gets all mixed up in bias and personal opinions, like my dear friend and outspoken Mormon critic, Christine Hagland. She sometimes acts like she has the corner on truth, but she's a poor mortal like the rest of us, and even among her elitist intellectual feminist friends who are struggling philosophically with the nature of God and religion. It's still a mystery, the nature of godliness. And unfortunately, I have to give her a gentle video nudge every once in a while when the liberal media comes a calling for her to give a quote to bash the Mormon church. The latest one is from the New York Times, the Bible of left-leaning wackos. So, to you, Christine, remember, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is a religion. It's not a political party to be lobbied. Do you remember in the past how often you have used, as a ruse, to criticize the church, the claim that it hides its history. Well, we knew your intention all along was simply to criticize the male-dominated patriarchal leadership. Well, now the church has come out with a whole list of controversial topics that it is addressing head-on, and it's quite remarkable. So it's going to be harder for you to hide the fact that you hate men, which core feminists do, you know. So w the church has produced this, uh, and I'll put a link here, historical essays of some potentially controversial topics. And these ans answers are done in such detail with with all knowledge available that I I challenge anyone really to to say that we're hiding anything our message is the redeeming blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ only Jesus Christ is our Savior he's the only name under heaven where any of us can be saved. And I wish that Ms. Hagland would place as much emphasis on sharing her own testimony of Christ as she does promulgating her feminist ruminations and criticisms. She continues still to damn our leaders, our brethren, with faint praise, saying things like, well, she's really hopeful now that the church has produced these historical essays. Yet, the vast majority of our women, like our men, live by faith and trust in Christ. And we all receive his grace equally. What's the big deal? So that's good enough for me. Look, I don't represent the LDS Church, and neither does Ms. Hagland. I don't know everything about uh, eternity, and I don't need to. My day-to-day -day walk is hard enough, and I'm going to live by faith. I'm going to study and, and hopefully get the guidance of the Holy Ghost to stay on the path. And I'll tell you what, Christine, my humble prayer for you my dear agnostic sister, are, are you even still a Mormon? Anyway, I will pray for you either way. 
that you will be able to see one day beyond your anger at men, which I think is your root problem, and that you might find in your heart the abiding peace for both genders that lies in Christ.